on the woodpecker today, Alain is teaching me how to make this desk. Bookshelf. When Alain was still working, almost every day he would come and annoy me. And when it wasn't him, it was René. I guess I sort of missed being bothered, and that's why I decided to go to Alain's workshop to get some help putting together a special desk. I came with photos that Alain tried to reproduce using SketchUp. Here's the plan for the desk I want to put together. But in order to do that, we need wood. So we head out to the sawmill and I get planks of maple. Now that the wood is in the workshop, Alain uses the plan to mark the ends of the planks that I need to cut. After showing me how to surface the wood, I finish the job. The first thing we need to do is a lot of gluing of the wood to make the panels that we'll need later. I start by cutting one side straight using the circular saw. The other side is then cut with the table saw. Now that all the planks are cut straight, I can glue them together. But these panels won't be enough to make my whole desk, so I have to prepare others. At my next visit, I prepare the surface of all the wood. A drum sander is very useful, but it still leaves little marks on the wood. So while I put all the wood through the drum sander, Alain uses the orbital sander to speed the process. When I'm finished, I also use an orbital sander. Actually, I spend the rest of the day sanding. At my next visit, I finally get to start the assembly. The first thing we do is the two lateral supports. I cut four pieces for the styles. After, I have to take care of the rails. All the rails have a straight cut and a cut at a five degree angle. Alain helps me and I mark the rounded form that I want on my rails. I glue the pieces together with double-sided tape and take care of the form. And yes, as per usual, when we cut maple, the wood burns. I have to take care of that right away. To assemble the rails, we use dominoes. Alain marks the spots where we need to drill the mortises, and I drill the hole. Well, I try. It's a good thing Alain was watching, because I was drilling the mortises uh, all crooked, because I didn't push hard enough on the domino. Alain gives a better demonstration, and I finish the job. But now, because everything is wonky, the mortises are really too big. But it's okay, Alain does a mix of epoxy that he thickens with silica powder, and we use the paste to glue the two lateral supports. Alain shows me how to do it, and I take care of the rest. After putting on the clamps, we can put this support to the side, 
and glue the other one. For the next visit, we take on the bottom section of the desk. Alain starts by doing the 45 degree cut on all the panels. Because the saw causes blowouts at the ends, I cut off the excess wood. The two little vertical pieces are too long, so I take care of those as well. Now I can mark where we will put the holes for the dominoes and then I drill. When I'm done, I glue it all together. Gluing this type of assembly is a lot easier with dominoes. Alain helps me for the last piece at the top. After that, all that's left is to put on the clamps. Alain checks to make sure everything is square. Since it's not 100% perfect, we add another clamp diagonally. And now all that's left is to wait for the glue to dry. When I come back to visit, I have a lot of work to remove the adhesive tape that we put inside. It was so much work that Alain was forced to help me, so I didn't spend all day on it. And here Alain was thinking that the tape would save a lot of trouble with the glue. Well, he was wrong but we can at least start working on the closed part that will go higher on the desk. Alain does the 45 degree cuts with the table saw. Since it's cut at an angle, you have to put a lot of pressure to get the perfect angle. I feel better letting Alain do those cuts. After, we have to add grooves so the doors can slide. Alain gives me a demonstration on how to use the dado blade and I do the rest of the grooves. I raise the blades for the top groove and make the rest of the cuts. After, Alain gets me to use the router plane to make sure the grooves are cut at the right depth. But we have a small problem. We have to fill in the holes at the top of the 45 degree cuts. I cut little pieces of wood that I glue in place. I make sure that wood is lined up with the edge of the cut and we leave them to dry. We can still work on the gluing of the bottom part. Alain shows me how to use the plane to make sure all is very straight. But when I try, I can't do it, so Alain finishes the job. I am able to do the rabbit in the back at the bottom. The last thing I do that day is square the four corners of the rabbit that I just cut. When I have the chance to come back to the workshop, I take care of cutting the ends of the wood that I glued to the 45 degree edge. After, just like with the bottom part of the desk, I mark the spots and Alain drills for the mortises. Honestly, I just want to play with D'Artagnan, the dog of Alain's daughter. But also I was scared to make a mistake. Alain doesn't understand because I did drill the ones for the table. Anyway, I cut the dominoes to make them small. But before gluing everything together, we do a test to see that it's perfect. It is! So I remove all the pencil marks that I made on the inside, and now it's time to glue it all together. It's not rocket science. A bit of glue, and I put it all together. And just like the last time, Alain helps me with the final piece. Now we have to add a bunch of clamps. We can't forget to make sure all is square. 
While the glue is drying, I take care of the bottom part of the table. Now that the bottom is the right size, it's time to clamp it and to clean the leftover glue on the inside. With my small arms, I do a better job than Alain would. Several weeks later when I come back, I cut the panels to make the two doors. When I have the four pieces, I glue two together and then the other two together for the two doors. While the glue dries together at the router, we cut the rabbit for the back of the top part of the table. I make sure that the corners are square. Also cut the back and glue it in place. After all this, the doors are dry enough to remove the clamps and I can fill the hole made by the wood knot with a mix of epoxy glue. After a bit of time, the glue is dry enough and I can do the final sanding of the upper section. When I come back several weeks later, I start by making sure the epoxied knot is at the same level than the rest of the door. Then I cut one side of each door to make sure they're straight. Alain shows me how to measure the height of the doors, and after taking the measurements, I cut them. Now is the time to do the rabbit for the back of the doors. The small edge of wood will slide in the grooves I made a few months ago. However, in order for it to be easier to put in place, Alain moves the fence so that the rabbit at the top will be bigger than the one at the bottom. When I have my door, we realize that we cut it a bit too long. So, now the doors are the right height, I have to cut them to be the right length. Now is the time to make the hole which will be used to open the doors. We start by making a pattern for the hole. Alain shows me how the jig will be placed on the door. Now it's time to tape the jig in place with double-sided tape. But I'm a bit confused about how to place it. Well. That's why Alain is here to help. Now with a template guide and a straight router bit, I pierce the hole. Here's the hole I made. But Alain thinks it's hard to open the doors with a hole that has straight edges. So we put a ball bit on the router and I add a rounded edge for inside the hole. Look how much better it is. Now we do the same thing on the second door. When I come back to see Alain, it's time to finish the two lateral supports I glued 20 months ago. So after sanding the leftover epoxy, I put the two supports one on top of the other and I cut the exact same length. I start at the top and then do the bottom. Finally, I can mark the spot where I have to drill the holes for the assembly screws. When all the marks are made, I can drill the holes and put the screws in. But 
we're still missing the two rails at the back. When I have them, all we have to do is cut them to the right length. But because there will only be one screw on the rails, Alain marks and drills the holes to add dominoes. That will prevent the rails from rotating. I take care of the rest. And voila, the desk is almost finished. After disassembling it, I made the pilot holes a bit bigger on the supports. That will help me when I put the desk together at home. A few weeks later, I come back and sand all the edges and corners. When that's finished, I vacuum everything before wiping it all down with wood alcohol. Now I'm ready to spray the desk. Yes, for the first time in my life. But before spraying the desk that I have spent the last two years working on, Alain has me practice. Since it's not that hard at all, I start to spray. Alain has me start with the easy pieces first. When the doors are done, there are still some easy pieces left. But there's still the two other parts. I start with the big one, it's easier. But when it comes to the table, I let Elaine do the interior. Since there isn't a lot of space, Alain is worried I won't be able to do it, since it's my first time using a spray gun. But I still get to finish the spraying of the desk. Now, all that's left is to leave the varnish to dry a few hours before doing a light sanding to remove any imperfections that there might be on the finish. I take care of the smaller pieces while Alain uses the linear sander at a low speed for the big pieces. After, I wipe it down with a wet cloth. When all is well cleaned, I do a second, last varnish. I'm pretty happy, and of course, I sneakily use the camera to do a victory dance. I'm a TV journalist after all. The next week, I come back to put my desk together. Alain wanted to see if there were any problems in the assembly before I do it at home. But no problems! Yes. To make sure the doors slide more easily, Alain has me put on a special wax. And when that's done, my desk is finally all finished. Yeah, Obviously, I'm very proud and happy. Alain says that's the most important thing. Alain is happy to have helped, but says having all my pieces in his workshop over 23 months was a little much. Sorry, Alain. Now that the desk is at my place, two people are happy. If you want to hear all of this from the real expert, Alain did his own narration in French. You can go check it out. And you'll see Alain next time for another episode of The Woodpecker.